Hey guys, today I am filming a video that I've been very excited about and I'll just warn you already that this is going to be a long video. So this is my um, cream base and cream eyeshadow overview and I'm going to show you all the ones that I have and from the different brands and go from the best to the worst and with my experiences. Now I'll let you know first off I have very oily skin and very oily eyelids so it is hard for me to find any kind of a cream shadow or cream eye product that will not crease and will stand my eyes. So I have found some things that I think are holy grub products for me and I've also found some things that aren't worth the hype or they're just terrible products that I don't want you guys to have to buy if you don't. But if and let me make a comment here. Things that might not work for you may work for me and the things that might not work for me may work for you. So this is all based on my personal opinion on what works for me and what doesn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started now that I have it out of the way. I'm going to start off with the absolute worst and that would have to be the Coverall Smoky Shadow Blast and it doesn't say what color I got but I have the white and the black one. So the step one this cream white eyeshadow and step two is like this angled black eyeshadow and you can see it's stuck in the cap because it's broken and looks like that so um my, so my old school used to have like club nights once a month so i would wear this and wear eyeshadows over top and i would have primer i wore this for like maybe an hour and a half and this crease on me like nobody business also both of the sides are broken i have never dropped this this broke while using it now if that's not crap i don't know what is this is a terrible product i do not like covergirl products in general i'm sorry if that offends you guys if you like them that's great every single product i've had has sucked from them i don't have good experiences so i don't buy from them anymore but this product sucks so bad. I don't recommend this to anyone. This is supposed to be a tip for, you know, the crease or make it as an eyeliner. Um, but this product sucks creased so bad on me within a maximum of two hours. It was creased and I had a primer underneath and I shadow was over top and it's still creased. The next is one that I know a lot of people really like and that's why I'm, you know, don't want to put this in here really, but one that I think I don't, I won't repurchase would definitely be the NYX um, Jumbo Pencils. This one is in Milk, which is like the favorite and this, I'm going to have swatches of everything and pictures put throughout the video. And this is an opaque white, which I actually use this as a brow highlight and it works great for that. But I have um, Ice Mocha and Pots and Pans, which is like a bronze and a silver. And I have worn those over top of a primer on my eyes and they creased like mad. I didn't put eyeshadows over top, I don't think. So if I put eyeshadows over top, it probably would have lasted better. But I just, I think if you're looking for one that is, um, you know, a certain color that you need a base for, that would be great. I don't think you should wear it on their own for sure. And this one I have worn without a primer and put eyeshadows over top and it creased really bad because I had forgotten my primer so I tried to use this instead and if you have, if your eyelids are not super oily like mine you might not have a problem with this. I love this for my um, brow highlight but other than that I, I won't buy any more colors um, but I know a lot of people rave about these so that's why I picked some up and unfortunately I was not pleased. Next are MAC Paint Pots, and I have two here, and I was really excited to get these, and I got them both from the CCO. And the first one I have is Morning Frost, which is from the um, Winter Collection, which is like a, like a bronzy champagne color. Like I said, I'll have swatches of them, but I think this is actually a really pretty color. And with, with one look, I really like it, but like, it's really thin, and it feels like greasy on my fingers and I just don't really like that part of it. I don't 
you know I know people are crazy who talk about these things like they're the best things in the world so of course like I had an opportunity to try one at a cheaper price and I picked it up and like I said it's pretty but you can tell I haven't hardly used it I use it with like one look um, so that one I definitely would, would I don't regret buying it but I would never repurchase this one but on the other hand the paint pot in new Bahal, which was also a limited edition is like a peachy color and this is matte I think that this one is great it's a thicker texture but not too thick but this is awesome I love this and now I understand why people are crazy about um, painterly and soft ochre this is a matte color if you want a matte color that is close to your skin tone I definitely recommend these matte paint pots in in the matte shades the colors I think you can find them better and cheaper and but I like these you know painterly paint pot um soft ochre this is nubile which is limited edition so I mean, it's not sold anymore except for at the CCO, so look for that. But I'm really glad that I picked this one up. At first, I wasn't so crazy about it, but Anna Reeks talked about it and loved it. So I love everything that she loves, so I had to go pick it up, and I'm so glad that I did. I really like this one. This is perfect for an everyday um, eye base, and um, I suggest MAC for the neutral skin tone matte shades. Not so much for the pretty shimmery shades, but if you want a skin tone shade that is matte, I definitely recommend the MAC Paint Pot for that. Next, I have something that I am in love with, and those are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I have four limited edition and six permanent collection colors and I have a review on this that I posted in January I think I'll leave that down below but um I've got two cool which you can tell I put a big dent in this one I use this one a lot I know a lot of people don't like this because this is so pearly white and I do agree but um I have not had a problem with that like it hasn't bothered me and then my other absolute favorite one that I've used a lot is toughest taupe which is a matte taupe color which I put in my crease a lot and I really love this one I definitely recommend this color and then I have the the one that seems to be the most popular which is bad to the bronze I stuck my fingernail in it accidentally which is very pretty and I put I listed this in a um makeup star kit video which I will also link below also have pomegranate punk which I actually wasn't sure if I would use this one but one of my favorite um go-to eye looks this color is very similar to the color of my crease so I use that as a base for that which I was so glad I found something for this because I really wanted this one but I didn't know what I would wear it with and then I have Janacious Teal which I actually broke part of the cap that looks like this and this one has a little bit of shimmer in it which I actually don't like and I love shimmer but this one has I don't know. I'm not crazy about the shimmer in it. And the last one is Edgy Emerald, which is gorgeous underneath of MAC Shimmer Moss eyeshadow, which is awesome because I've been looking for a way to wear that shadow as well. And then I'll quickly mention the uh, four limited edition shades that I have, which are from the new fall collection. Um, that, and I'll put this video up soon that way you guys can get these if you want and this is barely beige which is um, like a dupe for bare study because it has shimmer in it and this is not a painterly dupe because there is shimmer but it is like bare study so it's pretty close but this is definitely one that I know Amma Rakes really likes and a lot of other people have been loving as well and I also really like this one and if you are afraid of Here's, I'll show you it besides beside too cool so you can see the difference because I know people were really afraid of too cool because it was so so white so this is too cool and this is fairly beige so I definitely think if you're looking for something that is close to being skin tone I would definitely pick up this fairly beige next one I have is gold shimmer which is like a dirty gold um it's not picking up as much in the camera but it's got like some olive tones to it but yeah this is a dirty gold 
picked up all the ones from the fall collection. There is a jewel tone collection, but honestly, I'm not interested in them. And Rich Mahogany, which is a red and brown. And you know, the colors that I did want from the jewel tone collection, I've heard were the ones that were um, the least pigmented, so I, so I don't want to pick those ones up then. And the last one is Mossy Green, which will go perfect with my MAC Sumptuous Olive Eyeshadow. These products, you can see I've got 10 of them, so that means that I really love them. These are products that um, you can see I've used the crap out of Too Cool and Tough Taupe. These are products that I use every day. I definitely recommend them. Definitely, if you're interested in any of the limited edition neutral eyeshadows I showed, then please go to the store and buy them now because I don't know how long they'll be out for. And I found mine at Rite Aid. I have heard that is where most people have been finding theirs. And the jewel toned ones, if you're interested, are at Target. Um, and these color tattoos, I think, are one of the greatest products that has ever been created. I'm obsessed with them. I love that they have so many colors to choose from. And there are some that are, these are good to wear on their own. I have worn them on their own. And they work good as eye bases as well. And um, the last product I have to show you guys that I really love as well as the color tattoos are the... Milani shadow eyes pencils and there's only six colors of these and the first one I picked up was this purple one because the purple color tattoo I've heard is not very pigmented and kind of patchy so this one is royal purple and I used this in the crease today for my uh, MAC stars and rockets I love that I use and I put this in the crease of the day and these go on I mean these are easy to go on because they're on a pencil and you can blend them with your finger and these dry really well and these do not crease which is you know this is a similar product to the Urban Decay shadow pencils and the next Jumbo pencils and this performs a million times better than the next Jumbo pencils and the other color I have is Champagne Toast which I also recommend for everyday color like and this is a beautiful champagne and this dries like it dries on your eye which is good it's not really I mean it's a little sticky at first but um it dries pretty quick. Out of everything I'm showing you guys, I recommend if you want a skin tone matte um, cream shadow, then definitely check out Back Paint Pods. If you're looking for colors, I definitely, definitely, or shimmery shades, I definitely recommend the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencils, which you can get at CVS, and the Maybelline Color Tattoos. They are great shades for everyone. There will be a shade for everyone in these. Like I said, these only have six shades. These have ten. Someday, earlier this week, I didn't have enough time to do all my eye makeup, so I skipped eye bases. Now, I have been using an eye base every day since the since January. Since the beginning of January, I have been using it, an eye base every single day. It made such a difference in the pigment of my eyeshadows. Now, I... Now, like, this is a product that I have to use an eye base every single day because it makes such a difference in how bright your eyeshadows are and how much they stand out. And I mean, you can tell I went, you know, kind of heavy on my eye makeup today, which is what I do every single day. So I want my eyeshadows to be vibrant and pop, and I definitely achieve that with an eyeshadow base. So I, I feel like they're very important, and I really hope that you guys will see something from this video that you would like to pick up. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And thank you guys so much for watching.